is this random dude? <laughs> that was crazy. Hey, what's going on everyone? Rob back with another reaction. So today I thought I'd pop on, you know, a nice little family friendly flick. No. <laughs> this one when I watched Martyrs, tons of people were like, you gotta watch High Tension next. I'm expecting pretty gnarly <laughs> uh, got Stella with me over here. But real quick before I start it, I went to a thrift shop and they had this used slash cards horror trivia game. I'm going to pick out a random card in here. Here, I'll just rattle off four questions just to see if you know your, your stuff. What horror classic was filmed mostly on location at the Monroeville Mall in Monroeville, Pennsylvania? If you don't know that one, come on. What actor played Count Dracula in Nosferatu the Vampire, 1979? Nuclear weapon tests awaken an ancient monster that appears intent on destroying Tokyo in this 1954 film. Dude, these questions are so easy. I didn't know the Nosferatu one, though. That is, uh... Oh, Klaus Kinski. Okay. Anyway, yeah, let's check out High Tension. It's been a long week. I don't know about you, but it's hot, super hot. Like you step outside, you're drenched in sweat instantly. I think this is a foreign flick. French? French, I think. Yeah, there you go. Are they recording? No, it's doing one of those things where it starts at the end and then will show us how it led up to this. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe the dream I just had. I was in a forest running barefoot. I was hurt and I No, oh, so that was a dream? Don't you ever have normal dreams? No. And the only version I could find was dubbed, so don't you know <laughs> be mad at me. I can only find the dub version. Take a rest. I'll wake you when we get there. Real funny. I'll drive if you like. Huh. Are there any cool places to go out here in the country? I'm afraid the town halls are the only Man, I'm not gonna lie, they do make smoking look pretty cool. Might pick up a pack after this. Just to look cool. Don't smoke. Hey, we are not deaf, huh? Who is this? <laughs> okay. Gotta throw this on my summer jams playlist. Oh, look at this Jeepers Creepers mobile. Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> no way. Damn. That is disturbing. <laughs> now that's, uh, one way of getting head. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Are you sure it's this way? Of course. Just up ahead, you turn right at the cornfield. Oh, look, look, there it is. Okay, turn right. If ever my directions are take a right at the cornfield, I know I'm not where I need to be. <laughs> Here we are. All right. <laughs> Marie, this is my pop, Pop Marie. Nice to meet you. So nice to see a person and not just a photo of you. Photo? You know, the one I took in Spain. I'll put Tom Tom to bed and I'll show Marie her room. All right. All right, then. I still have some work to do. Good night, girls. Good night, Pop. Well, here's my room. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Well, my parents' room is on the right. Huh? This is Tom's room. Creepy old 
ranch in the middle of nowhere. Man, yeah. Just the way this house is designed. <laughs> Sketchy. Okay. See, she's got kind of a creepy looking face. I mean, she's pretty, but <laughs> that, <laughs> that one almost got me. Okay. <laughs> All right. She might be, she might have a crush on her, maybe. I don't know. Oh, man, that dog better survive whatever is going to happen here. Okay, yeah. Giving herself a nightcap, I guess. <laughs> Here we go. This dude rolling up to the house. I mean, you definitely hear that, right? Yikes, dude, no, don't answer that. Oh. Wow. <laughs> don't hurt. Oh, come on. Uh, do you go down and help him? Whoa. Who is this random dude? <laughs> that was crazy. This movie seems like nothing's off limits, so. <laughs> Yeesh. Just gonna stand there. He's got the whole, like, Quint from Jaws look to him with the sideburns and the hat. She's like, he's like the heaviest sleeper of all time. How do you not wake up? 
Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> It's your friend out there. You're not gonna. Uh. I kind of like how there's no reason, <laughs> no explanation for why this is happening. It just, it's happening, and you gotta deal with this. Makes it a lot scarier for sure. Yeah. What's he doing to him in there? She's pulling the old Lori Strode. <laughs> I have like the same facial reaction as her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. You see on her neck, it's still kind of like pumping out a little bit. <laughs> oh, fuck her hand. <laughs> Is it her hand cut off? Find a weapon? Anything? Alex! This movie's really gonna go there, isn't it? Try to calm down, Alex. Yeah, no comment. That's awful. Tell me where I can find a telephone, huh? In the kitchen? Huh? <laughs> it's like, you gonna help out or what? Now we're talking. Gotta have more of this motion, not this. See? Uh, Alright, well. <laughs> now you're fucked. Yeah, I knew we were gonna see that. Messed up, man. Who thinks of this stuff? Seriously. It takes a pretty twisted person to be like, write it down, get the budget, film it, 
release it. <laughs> But I can appreciate it because it's really well made so far. You know, and it's trashy and and just just played just to shock people. Then then I'm not as into it. I think even if I saw this creepy truck driving down the street. It could be doing nothing wrong. I'd still call like 911 and be like, yo, check this thing out. We're in the gas station. Well done. And barefoot, that's a good idea too. Mademoiselle. Je vais appeler la police. Mademoiselle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Comment tu trouves Jimmy? Ça va? Tu pourrais pas me donner une des bouteilles de JB? I think this uh, store clerk <laughs> might be Dunzo. I'm looking to a new day to come, man. <laughs> Can he back off, bro? Jeez. Patron, I promise, huh? C'est promis. I knew that shit was gonna happen. Man. Where did he get the axe? Oh. I look like I'm enjoying this. I am, a little bit. <laughs> but this is like, you really gotta be a specific person to get into stuff like this. This, this is, way more visceral than you know your average Jason Voorhees movie or something you know those are fun take a date to it I don't know if I'd take a date to see this movie because <laughs> it's just it's just brutal it's primal disgusting <laughs> That's when you come out, clock him on the head. Perfect opportunity right there. There you go. Now we're in business. Oh, that's a hell of a whip. I'm ready for this. I'm about to see the hunter become the hunted. Hell yeah. Man, she looks badass. She make a cool, like, badass, like, female cosplay. You know, just get, like, a baby blue shirt, those jeans. Gotta have the haircut, though. That's key. Yeah. 
Oh shit, is he behind you? Oh, he pulled the old okie doke on you. That's not good. <laughs> Car fucking car is gonna explode. Get out of there. It's easy for me to say on my couch. Is this like a abandoned house or something? That's oh, like a greenhouse. Yeah. Just this sweaty, gross dude. He's <laughs> all breathing heavy. <gasps> He might be my Halloween costume this year. I could do it. Yeah, it is like a greenhouse. Hell yeah. It's like a fence post, barbed wire. That is badass. Got got. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa. Tricked. <laughs> he likes her jewelry. What? Oh, dude. This dude's gross fingers in your mouth. Yes! Oh, yes! Damn! One more time? No, that was it. Okay. Capitaine, la porte derrière est fermée. Il faut. Appelle le procureur. Oh. Oh no. Oh my come on, no way. It's me, Alex, it's me. It's her the whole time. What, she was having like split personalities? Oh man, oh man, I don't know how I feel about that. So, she, she's all confused because she's like, now you're letting me go? You're the one who put me here. It's over, Alex. I killed him. Kill him, Alex. It's finished. It's done. You went and murdered my family. God damn it, my family! It was just you. Oh man, huh? This reminds me of the end of Fight Club. Oh. Holy shit! 
shit. They could have just... I'll, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> mm. That was a nicely done transition right there. Yup. Yeah, it, that's gonna take a minute to marinate there, that, that flick. All right, well, just got finished watching High Tension from 2003, I think, and interesting flick there. Lots to say about it, for sure. And uh, I'm sure, you know, it, you know, this is just a instant review, fresh off watching it, but I really liked it a lot. You know, I can see that ending or that twist, you know, reveal pissing off a lot of people. The fact that it was just her doing this. I mean, that is probably like right above it was all a dream as far as like the most lame twist. But I think it kind of works in this case. I almost do wonder though if they just kept it a straight up slasher, if that would have been better. Because. I mean, the guy, that character, that trucker dude, he was very creepy. So if they just kept it straight, I wonder if this movie would still be as good. Maybe. But I thought the fact that there was a twist, something made it a little bit more interesting. And it kind of makes me want to run it back. Um, you know, not now, just because it's gory and disturbing. But maybe next year or something do a rewatch on it and pick up on some of the stuff that I missed. Hope your summer's doing good and I will and like and subscribe. Yeah. And I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, bye. You ever take your life out of mind? I'll fucking kill you. Take you back to the bayou in the cabin with the mildew. And I'll leave you there for someone to